up everybody uh, today I'm headed out to Kansas to pick up a new flatbed trailer and I still got about four hours to drive I'm on the road right now but got about four hours to drive pick it up turn around and head haul back five hours all the way back to my house and then hopefully put that thing to work this weekend so stick around check it out What's up everybody welcome back today we're gonna to be trying out my new trailer it's a 22 foot PJ 14k taking a skid down to my uncle's house to load up an air compressor um, we're gonna be stealing my buddy's truck that he left here this Ford he went uh, fishing in Alaska uh, he's guiding up there and he left this Ford here while he's gone and I broke my truck the other day pulling this setup and uh, I'll show you more about that later in the end of the video. It was my fault, dumb mistake, but it happened. We'll learn from it, move on. But today, <clears throat> we're gonna go pick up the air compressor and bring it back here. Stick around. That's a really nice truck. I'm super jealous. Uh, oh, here's a peek at the hitch. It's just the hitch failed. Bent the hitch, no frame damage, but I'll show you more later. But anyway, I gotta get this, this stuff loaded up real quick and get on the road pretty quick. It's pretty early morning. I think it's like, it's only 5.30 right now. Sun's coming up. See if I can get a shot. Of course not. Oh, it's pretty out there though. All the fog coming in. Ah, it's a GoPro. You get what you get. But it's pretty sweet looking setup right there. So, I'm, like I said, I'm going to finish loading that stuff up, check all these chains, and get on the road. Stopped by the local getting place, picked up a cup of coffee, and we're ready to hit the road. It's quarter to six. I'm not going to be filming a whole lot because this uh, trailer is kind of heavy and I need to, <clears throat> need to be paying attention. So, uh, we'll probably film some more when I get there unloading the skid, loading everything up, hauling it back. We'll see you then.
Well, my uncle didn't really want to be on camera, but we got this all loaded up now. My dad came up with this 41. We're going to go back to his house. He's going to drop that off and drive out with me to help me unload all this, but there's the load. Hopefully we'll make it all the way home. We made it back to the house. Everything's safe and sound. Got the air compressor up there. We're gonna get it all unloaded and then later I'll show you the trailer. All right, here's underneath the truck. And you see how I got this piece of rod that comes from the top of the frame and then it's sandwiched, bolted up there. And then it comes down and it like, I thought it was gonna be a lot stronger because it keeps it, it the top of the frame can then support some of the weight from the bottom of the frame too, you know, and just kind of make it so it's a little bit stronger there. But I think it would have been fine, but I don't think these washers are probably big enough. So it's not entirely the hitch's fault. It's my fault too. And I didn't have that skid steer loaded very well. I had way too much tongue weight on it. I was trying to figure out how I could load that thing uh, on my truck to keep it from bouncing so bad. I was really having trouble getting the placement just right. It's the first time I've ever loaded that trailer. First time I ever loaded it a skid. Uh, first time I pulled, well, probably not the first time, but it was like a 13,000 pound load. That's a lot for that truck. 
uh, just kind of, it was the max for the trailer, it was the max for the truck, it was the max for the hitch. Everything was working against it. It was not the smartest decision. I, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I did it and I learned. But it's not the first time I've pulled trailers. I'm pretty proficient at pulling trailers, especially bumper pull trailers. I've got a lot of experience pulling just about any different kind of trailer you can imagine. Uh, but not as much. I've pulled, you know, some, some flatbed goosenecks here and there uh, when I worked in the oil field, some 40 footers. Uh, pulled a couple of gooseneck course trailers and uh, I think one once or twice a fifth wheel camper. So I don't have as much experience with that stuff, but bumper pulls, I've done a lot. You know, boats, horse trailers, flatbeds, I don't know, all kinds of stuff, enclosed trailers. Anyway, uh, I picked up this new draw tight. That's a class five, it's rated for 13,000 pounds. And uh, I'm gonna throw that on there maybe tomorrow. It's getting kind of late. Kids are all getting ready to go to bed. But uh, let me take you outside and I'll show you this new PJ trailer. Here she is. It's a PJ uh, 22 foot 14K trailer. It's got the Dimco coupler on the front. I'm getting used to that. That's a weird, kind of a different kind of setup. I really like the basket in the front, 12K drop leg jack. Uh, 7,000 pound Dexter axles, these 8,000 pound Bulldog Jacks in the back. It's got five foot ramps that slide out the back. Solid trailer. I'm really excited about it. I think it's got five inch channel frame, six inch channel frame on it. Pretty heavy duty. I'm really, and it pulls really nice. I really like it. This is another little trailer I picked up. I haven't mentioned anything about it. Bought it off a buddy that I work with. He just gave me a great deal, really fair deal for this and a four wheeler for the kid. He just redecked the whole thing. It's ugly as sin, but it's actually pretty solid. I need to, I'm gonna repaint it. I think I'm gonna take that axle and move it back maybe six or eight inches just to kind of even it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna rewire the whole thing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I think uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put like a montage of a bunch of different trailers I pulled just for fun. So stick around and watch that if you want. But uh, thanks for watching. See you next time at Gateway Garage.